a sad day this morning. Let me get the express and I'll tell you about it. Yes, please. How are you today? My friend's super sad. She has to go get her puppy put that put to sleep today. It got uh, sick and it didn't recover. Yeah. Yeah. It had uh, it had uh, medical problems from when it was a little one, and now it's a little bigger. It just got worse, and so it's uh, it's having cardiac arrest, heart attacks, and stuff. So yeah. they. A little puppy, little puppy. Stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's got to go get it put down today, but uh, I think she's gonna get it cremated, and uh, so she can keep the uh, like a little urn, urn ashes. Yeah. So she's pretty sad. 
She's, uh, we're gonna get together today at one or after she's done, so we'll be here. Okay. All right. <sighs> yeah, I didn't go and see her. Uh, I believe this is something that her and her family have to get through and deal with on their own. But uh, we're so, so sorry that it's happened. Um, when she got the puppy, it was uh, the run to the litter. And then they found out that, the, that it does have uh, underlying medical problems, like the whole batch. It was either that or that the breed of it has these prevailing medical issues. And... Uh, prevailing medical issues and uh, it wasn't recoverable from these. So sad when you lose a pet. I know exactly how she feels. My, uh, the last pet I lost was uh, a kitty cat, and uh, she died on our bed with us. And it was, uh, it was really heartbreaking having her meowing at you and you can't do anything. All you can do is give her hugs and smooches and let her know she's not alone. So it's uh, very, very sad. The little puppy in question is such a lovely little dog too. And uh, I totally understand her loss. But I told her we're gonna meet up afterwards. After she gets this done, we'll meet up afterwards and uh, give her some comfort. But I thought it was, I thought it was important that she, uh, I thought it was important that she uh, and her family spend this time on their own. We've all, I think, lost pets here and there. Never gets any easier. That's the downside of owning a pet and getting, uh, having something that you uh, love knowing that you'll, you're gonna outlive it. In my lifetime, I've had uh, maybe about five or six animals. And out of those, of course, I was a kid and uh, some of those, it was my parents that had to do the uh, the hard choices and hard decisions. But as an adult, you can't really get away from that. And uh, it's always gonna be on you.
don't know if uh, there's too many worse feelings than that. Everyone on our channels, uh, on our radio channel, is uh, been offering condolences and whatnot, but there's not a lot you can do. There's nothing you can do. All right, I'm getting misty-eyed too. All right, well, I'll bring you that later when we do our get-together uh, later on this afternoon. Um, we'll be able to, uh, she'll be able to share some experiences and memories. I hope everyone's having an okay day today. Hey, there's Daniel. Hey, hey. Uh, not too good. Uh, Sharon's puppy is, uh, he's got to be put down today. Uh, I got too sick. There was, it's, uh, remember she was tell telling us that it had medical issues? Well, they just didn't get better. And the, uh, the poor little thing's having seizures and heart and it's at cardiac arrest. Yeah, so she's pretty sad. Yeah. You grabbing lunch? No. Just a coffee? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that because your fucking debit thing here sucks. I'll grab you one. Every time I try it, no, I go to check-ins and it'll be like, do your pin. Actually, no, it doesn't. Do the, do the slide in. Yeah, I do. That doesn't work? It says, uh, go to, I, I hit check-ins and it says invalid pin. And I'm like, I didn't put my pin in yet. Huh. Yeah, every time. All right. Can I get a uh, triple triple for my buddy? Thanks. Yeah, well, no, it works. It's your card. Everyone else's way works. I don't know. It works everywhere else. Yeah. It's weird. It's just here. Oh, right? so it may be their machine. Yeah. Maybe their machine yeah, it, doesn't it, like... What do you have, TD? Yeah. Uh, that might tell, be it. It just tells me, oh, ch checkings or savings. I'll hit checkings, and then, you know, when it'll prompt pin, Yeah. it says your invalid pin, and I'm like, I didn't even put it in, though. <laughs> That's weird, eh? Thanks. Next Friday, I'll actually throw a little bit of money towards my bill before the end of the month, so. Okay. I know it is getting a little up there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks. Just did nothing this year. <laughs> no, no. Flew up over it. You're the thumbnail, eh? You picking your bike up? Yeah. Yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but they're young. 
That's why it's they're young. Yeah, I know. <laughs> as as fucking, they're already looking at us, make sure we're not going to say the word. <laughs> mean that here. Yeah. I got the N word, right? Well, you know so what it Canada? is, is white people keep buying their music. Yeah. If white people didn't buy their music, but still, it's entrapment. they wouldn't be able to do that. Entrapment for white people to get beat up, alright? <laughs> I, I personally don't think the N word should mean what it means. Like in America, sure. But. They came to Canada for freedom, like free of slavery. So it shouldn't mean that here. Mm -hmm. Like they don't say it is, you know, negative. But like, it just makes no sense to me. And then you got the African Americans, like, yo, my my fellow N word, right? And it's just like, <laughs> I asked them on that, and I was like, why why do you guys say that? Like, yo, my N word, and yo, or like you say it just to your friend over there, and like, oh, we like to embrace it. It's like, why would you want to embrace embrace slavery? something that's so blatantly, yeah. It's like the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. Nah, I, I get it. <laughs> it's a touchy subject, right? Yeah, so I went out for a ride last night at 2. I did an hour-long ride. I went out, well, it was about 1.30. I did a smoking a joint at 2 a.m. video. Okay. So I went out at 1.30. It was so nice out. It was like 15 degrees. Like, it was really nice out. I knew you were was working, so I didn't even bother calling you. Radioing, yeah. It's Friday. I don't really care. Hmm? It was Friday, I don't care. Yeah, 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 yeah right? Because the worst case scenario, you oh, nap all, all, all morning. Right? Even, even Thursday. Thursday, I stay up later because Friday is my weekend. So yeah. Friday is always an easier day. It's alright to go in dead as well. You have Tuesday off, so freaking. I'm going to make it up for Saturday, so I can work Saturday until 2. That's not too bad, though, till 2. Yeah. That'll still leave us, you know, the afternoon to ride. Yeah, no, they don't have anybody to, like, properly clean the machines. So, they know if I do it, then it'll actually be done right. Like, It'll get done right. It's not like, well, it doesn't really matter anyways for ride two. It's just dirty rubbers and shit anyways. Yeah. The problem is it's so thick in there on mm -hmm. the walls. It keeps jamming the door. But, uh, oh, so it's got to be, like, maintained every week type thing? It's supposed to be every like couple months or something. Like that. Once or twice, once a, either a month or every six months. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I I, uh, I didn't go over to Sharon's because I figured this is something their family's got to deal with on their own and get through, and you know. I was telling my viewers that like. That's the sadness about animals, pets, is that you're going to outlive them, yeah. right? And you're eventually going to have to say goodbye to them, and, right? That sucks. That's why I don't get them. Yeah. As I want, like, a dog or something, you know, like, you know, it's like, it's taken care of it for all, like, its whole life. And then, yeah, that, that being said, I mean, I love Bowie and Razzy. I'm glad I have them, and I'm, you know, I know but I know eventually, you know, I'm going to have to deal with that. Hi, Ada. Little Ada. So my buddy James uh, gave me a really good suggestion for a video, um, and it's close by. It's near Thorold. Um, it's an old abandoned nudist camp. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's like this compound, so I, I figure we can go check that out. Yeah, it's, I've seen pictures of it. Like, it's all abandoned. There's still buildings there, though, that we could go check out and stuff, too, as well. So, it should be good.
if you guys watched my uh, last night's morning vi uh, 2 a.m. video, uh, when I was talking about James, um, not wanting to go with James, I was talking about James Emery, not James Takeo. <laughs> Just in case James saw that and thought I met him. Uh, I think I'd go with James Emery during the day, though. I don't think I'd go there with him at night. Oh, crap. Oak Park Oak Center crew. It's a pretty good place over there for those, for uh, people, they yeah, offer a lot of good support services and what have you for uh, mildly challenged people. <laughs> She's m motivating the rest of the crew, eh? Go, go, go! Jimmy? I hope you didn't mind me giving that bike away to what's his name. I just figured you wanted it gone. You said, you know, you're trying to give it away. I was thinking about it afterwards. Then I was remembering, oh, fuck, he was saying that, you know, he could buy parts for it, but. No, uh, I need a different bike. I, I thought about it. I was like. It's a crappy bike. I it's a good frame, but I mean. I need a fat bike. Yeah. A fat tired bike because uh, it's the only tire. Uh, it's the only bike I need to put the uh, back wheel is on. Mm -hmm. It's a fat bike. It should be easy to find. Mm-hmm. Here's to cut. You got a pocket where you're not going to break them. Yeah, I can do that. catching it. I guess I can't light it. <laughs> See ya. I'm actually glad little Wiggum's back in, uh, Ralph Wiggum's back in, uh, back here. Not that I missed him because we don't really hang out, but I just, I worry about him because he goes to these places and he's, you know, let's be realistic. He's not the fucking smartest, right? And so I'm always afraid he's going to make a crazy decision that's going to put his life at danger, right? At least in Welland, he's, you know, there's people that look out for him. If he ever, you know, said something crazy, well, you know, chances are a person that's, someone's going to say, you know, James, maybe think about it before, yeah. right? And talk him out of it. If he's on his own out in some city that, you know, nobody knows where he is. Yeah, I'd hate to see him get hurt. He's so, he's so innocent, like innocent, stupidly innocent, right? You know? Hey, hey. Go ahead. I like the kid. <laughs> he's funny. I, I like him. He's... It's fun to hang around when I have hung around them, eh? I find most of the guy there ones, they tend to tease him a lot, right? And he kind of brings it on himself, and, he, and he's got good humor about it at least, right? He doesn't take it to heart. 
and generally most uh, everybody likes him and they you know they're kind of they look out they look out for him they know he's you know a little dim How's your day going? Going good, you? Good, yeah. Well, it's a late start today. It's a nice day, though. Yeah. This, a this afternoon, I'm busy. My uh, my mother-in-law's coming over, and so I got to clean the place up good. <laughs> it's not too, it's not dirty in my place. It's just messy, right? Like, I've got, you know, clothes here and there, but it's not dirty. There's not, like, food laying around, you know, dishes with food on it laying around. There's none of that. It's mainly just sweeping up dust bunnies and shit, eh? <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. I make sure the garbage is always empty. I make sure, you know. There's Will. I want to tell him to get this plug working out here because so people could come and charge their bikes because they'll buy coffees if you charge their bike right yeah hell put a sign up yeah sure enough. right if you use this charger fucking buy a coffee buy at least a coffee or have it so that he can turn that plug on and off from yeah. the inside right so when it's one of us it's good when it's, you know, after hours and shit, he can turn it off. We come in, we plug it in, and the guy's like, oh, fuck, that, that works. It's just like, as soon as we unplug it, he's just like... Turns it off. It's, well, it only works for us. <laughs> well, legally, I don't think he's under any obligation to provide people with electricity, right? If he does, it's because they either A, have deserved it, earned it, or paying for it, right? Those are uh, everyday customers. Mm-hmm. What time you off today? Uh, four. Okay, so we can get a ride in. So tonight's supposed to be nice and warm too. Yeah. So even if we do a evening ride, right? Ah, shit. Don't come here, please. Hello. Good. Yeah. You know, I, I find conversations with them a little exhausting, though. Right? Hey, Will. What's that? No, he works over there, just down, just a couple doors down. So he probably went, came to get his coffee before he had to go do something. I'll just be easy the rest of the day, too. Mm-hmm. Just gotta go break one person and then fucking clean in the rest. I'll pause with it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the, the back uh your the back deflector bouncing around. That's cool. Two little old guys. <laughs> Stuff. 
stuff. I had to go raise my fucking food too. Got the dickies all over me. What? Probably definitely some bash off people. Well, if you want to meet for a coffee after work, this place closes at 5, so just radio me and come here. We'll have a coffee, then you can go home and we can go home and get you cleaned up and everything, right? Yeah, fair enough. I already charged up anyway. It's just I'm going to miss it. I can't, I can't buy a coffee for you anywhere but here, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I just want to make sure I'm reciprocating the coffees you buy for me, right? <laughs> I don't have to buy the coffees. I know, I just... I more than enough. I don't even know how to repay that. <laughs> You're a good guy. You deserve it. You work hard, man. You work hard. You keeping a right. That's that's all right. And I, it's a good thing to be. I get fucking bummed out when people judge me. It's like I have a criminal record. Uh, yeah. Oh, I know. I know how that is. Especially now I'm more in the spotlight now, right? Like, I get people, they don't even know me. They watch a video of me. Oh, yeah. They think, you know, that's what I'm like. Well, why don't you look at the other 3,000 videos, and, right? Oh, really? Not, just the ones that are Not like the one where I'm uh, abusing a cop. <laughs> <laughs> Crap, <my> poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> So we call, I called start.ca there for my uh, internet and uh, she couldn't stay long enough to get it finished today because there was uh, a call, she had to go to work, right, Michelle? Yeah. Um, but we called the other day and told them that I have authorization to call. So I think this afternoon while I'm doing cleaning, I'm gonna uh, call them and see if I can get it. The modem works now. Yesterday, remember I was telling you it didn't work? Plugged in, no one, nothing, right? Now the modem actually is working, but I'm not getting the upload speeds, so. Yeah, sometimes I gotta do it on their end. That's, it that's what it is, I've gotta do that. I can still use the modem to pick up other people's Wi-Fi and shit, I just don't have my own that's internet. Weird. I want the Be Media company, I hooked it up myself. Like, they, they had to get a guy, I was like, fuck, I'm not waiting for a guy to come. <laughs> like, man, that's stupid, so I went outside and I was like, Fuck, I wonder what these do. It's like, there's a cord here that's not even hooked up. I fucking plugged it right in. I ripped open the box and I was supposed to. <laughs> I did it anyways. And I'm like, fuck, I plugged it in. And I was like, fuck, I should be a goddamn fucking. Those are good. If you can find one of those screwdrivers that open those boxes, 90% of the time to hook someone up the cable, yeah. you just open the box and just, plug it in, right? Hooked up. I just, yeah. they, didn't, they just needed to come and put it and in. plug, plug it, it in, right? Add a splitter. I did that myself. Out of the splitter in my own cord and, and I called him up. I was like, Yeah, I don't need anybody coming. They still said somebody in. <laughs> Did you get in shift for opening the door? No, I just opened it. Uh, I could have been like, Yeah, I'm a better fucking worker than you are. I did myself. 
That's one of those things that grabs the tree and then that bar on top, that orange thing, there's a chainsaw on there. So the bottom part grabs the tree and the top part goes zing. Yeah, and then that's how they cut the tree down. Yeah, I see this one has like a giant chain on it, grabs it, wraps it around the tree. Oh, and, and just yanks it? It does the same thing, it chops in multiple different ways. Yeah. And then just rips it right the fuck out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy yeah. shit. But those are, those ones, the ones you're talking about, those are like fucking quarter million dollar machines, eh? Got a big ass chain, almost like Hey, there's the, Farmer. Almost like the, the, the bridge. Yeah. They have those fucking giant chains hoisted in the, the brick up or the pillar. So I was uh, uh, I looked at uh, the, that H22. I want to look at your bike after. Oh, you got maybe an idea how to re restart yeah, it? It's saying I gotta I gotta turn on your bike. I gotta pull the there's a fucking uh, cords on the inside. I got on I gotta turn on your bike, unplug that for the throttle, and then uh, basically just replug it in when you. It's bike like on. a manual restart, eh? Yeah. A reboot of the thing. It resets your. You know, all right, it's let's try that. that. It's saying it's not your throttle. It's your, well, it's either your throttle or your thumb switch. Well, okay. Both. All right. I wonder if worst case scenario, I could just disconnect the thumb switch. Mm. Just unplug it and use the throttle if that, hopefully that might work. Yeah, that's good. Cool. I'm going to go find my buddy. I think he's in town today working somewhere. So yeah. I'm going to go take a spin around and find him and see if uh, I can get that spare key for the... Uh, yeah, for the garage. All right, I'll see you tonight. Yeah. Work safe. You want some more smokes? You got it? You sure to get you got enough to get through work? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Yep. All right, so we came and spent a little time with Daniel. That was the whole point of coming out. I think we'll go uh, take a spin around town. We still got about 78, yeah, 78 on the uh, on the old uh, On the old battery. I think I'll use some of that. Excuse me. Good Lord, I apologize, guys. Hey guys!
Look at this, the tractors would be knocking over the, uh, the thing. Tina's got a, uh, a beware of dog sign, meaning, of course, little, uh, little Abby. And of course, Abby is, uh, if you know from my videos, Abby is like the least aggressive dog in the world. It's like the cutest one ever. Bag lunch for Tammy. Hey. Hello. Hello. Hi, Dwayne. How are you? Good. I was hoping I'd grab a lunch for Tammy. Yeah. Uh, I'm okay myself. Are you? Uh, yeah, I'm oh, okay. Oh, you're amazing. Yeah. Here. Thank do you want? Do you like these? Yeah. Clip bars. Uh, yeah, they're all right. I like those. They're good, uh, Can I get a bag? I'm on my bike. Yeah. So I don't want to wipe out. No. Here. You want one of these bags? Or yeah, that's good? perfect. Oh, that is brilliant. Here. Oh, I like your shirt. 
Yes, eh? Th that's uh, Haida art, eh? Yes. It's uh, from yeah. East Coast or uh, West Coast. West Coast. West Coast. There I no actually, one. I saw um, a tribe of Haida and they were doing salmon fishing. And they, oh. the way they do it is, uh, it's a big, like a canyon, yeah. and they have 60 foot poles with, with spikes on them. And they hook these big, huge, big salmon like that. It's salmon amazing to watch. See you later. Yeah, it's uh, Teleria. Teleria. Um, you probably have heard of Suron, yes. right? Yes. It's uh, it's a predecessor to the Suron. Um, the guy that designed started Teleria. He actually worked for Suron. He was an engineer. Um, I guess they had disagreements, so he left and he started his own. And uh, so he's taken all the good parts, eh? No kidding. I'll be honest though. You might have seen me with my uh, pedal bike. A big. It looks like a motorcycle, but it's a pedal bike. Oh, okay. <laughs> Like the, the the pedal bike is way better because it's got a bigger battery. This is great for torque and for dirt biking, but if you want distance, the, the other thing is the, the legality issue. I'm from the city, and the way they're gonna like you gotta have your certificates, everything, all your licensing. Oh, oh, but but the, if the oh. pedals are there and it only goes 32, like the, the yeah. stipulations are on. Yeah, yeah, they're, 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 they're really st strict. Yeah. But uh, yeah, these are amazing. It's a small town, so they don't really no, give you too much not. hassle. And what they're worried about, their big bitch about these is that. Uh, or uh, about dirt bikes is the noise. Yeah. People don't want these things zipping up and down their roads, At right? At the same time, it, it, you, there's, a, there's another token to that where if it's too quiet, you're going to have more accidents. So right. So you hear the guy coming, you know he's coming. I get, I get, I got kids. So That's I get one of the worst though about this is because it's so quiet on the trails, you can't, they can't hear you coming. So no. if you hear them, you pull over. Yeah, yeah. The Otherwise, they'll, they'll run you over, oh, right? Sure. And, and they the wouldn't weight, even know. And the weight of an ATV lower to the ground and they hit you the way you're going. This is it. only 90 clicks, uh, 90 uh, pounds, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's so light. A lot of fun. You watch YouTube? Yeah. I do. Uh, I have a small YouTube channel here in Shit. town. Dude, you're fucking doing Scriven? Yeah. Okay, you know what's crazy? Her cousin's Carissa, and she helped us move in and was wearing your sweater, and I was like, who is that, dude? That's me. That's nice to meet you. <laughs> Check out my channel. Subscribe if you haven't. Definitely. All right. Later on, uh, if you ever get one of these, you want to go riding, by all means, let me know. We'll go. <laughs> See you, bud. What's your name? Dwayne, well, Dwayne. <laughs> See ya. That was awesome. We got recognized. Way you're Dwayne Scriven. <laughs> I gotta say, I, I love hearing that. I love hearing things like that. That's awesome. understand uh, that it's just a job he's not out there trying to um, get you busted he's not out there trying to catch you if you choose to park in a place where you know you're gonna get dinged or deserve a ticket you're gonna get a ticket it's it's not his fault it's it's your fault so he does a tough job I, I admire that and the other meter maid uh, meter dude he's uh, I once actually went off on him unfairly and uh, we're good now. I, I can always say hi and shake his hand if I ever wanted, but I, I felt really bad afterwards because he in no way deserved what the crap I gave him. So, uh... Ronnie. He's a nice old guy. 
I was telling you, well, you heard earlier, uh, I find them a little bit exhausting talking to him just simply because uh, he is a bit dim. Not nothing of his, none of it's his fault or anything like that. He just that's the way it is. So, uh, but I, I find talking to him a little bit exhausting sometimes. But he's a really, really nice guy. Take a spin out to the end and come back.
of an impatient jackass. You had to wait an extra two seconds for the truck to turn, and that had to get you so angry, you'll show him by squealing your tire. Fucking loser. How are ya? Good to see you, Chris. All right, we're just doing a quick drop off. We still got 60%, so we can definitely get out a little bit. You know what? I'll break this up into two videos. I will see you guys on the next one.